Okay, so we got another trophy list video for you today, and boy, is this one a big one. Renegade Overlord, currently 9,186th in the world, and I believe that this might be the highest placed uh, list that I've reviewed on the leaderboards so far. 373 Platinums, so I do want to get straight into this as quickly as possible. But quickly, first things first, just a thank you to everyone that's watching these videos. New, new viewers, returning viewers, and once again, the continued support and patience shown by everybody. So, thank you once again, and let's get into it. I am expecting a lot of games that I am not going to be aware of. Sometimes, or most of the time, I do try and do like a little bit of research before I do a list to try and, you know, know at least a little something about some of the games but because there is just that many on this account like i, I can't like I, I just don't have the time to put it bluntly um so let's get straight into it i am expecting my voice to go during this as well uh, as any of you uh guys that have been watching for a while will know i've been having a lot of issues with uh, my throat it's getting better but it still plays up from time to time, so just pre-warning. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first platinum on the list, alphabetically as always, uh, one thousand top rated. No idea, sorry. Uh, Thirteen Sentinels Aegis Rim next, uh, fifty-one point six six percent. Quite a high percentage, but you know the game is definitely worth it. Uh, it's no surprise that it's so high. Uh, 36 Fragments of Mag uh, Midnight next. Then we've got Agents of Mayhem, which is only a 6.86%. Very nice. And I do believe that this one is unobtainable now. Uh, then we've got Alien Isolation. Very nice. 6.21%. Uh, a game that I do want to get to myself at some point in the future. Uh, then Anno Mutatinum. Completely butchered that. 23.85% on that one. Uh, no clue whatsoever. It, I think this might be a um, foreign title. Uh, R. Tonelico Quoga Nell of RCL. I have no idea. I've never seen this before. It's a PS3 title from back in 14th of May 2011, but it's a 7.66. So, fair play on that one. Uh, then we got Arkhan, the Dog Adventurer. Uh, took a couple of days, quite a very high percentage. Then we got Army of Ruin. Now, this was one that I was working on for a period of time, and I'm still chipping away at it. It's like um, an idle battler kind of thing. So it gives me like Vampire Survivors kind of vibes and Rotato. 41.9% that is very high considering how much goes into it I'm pretty sure that on the guide I saw it was like 100 hours but fair if in play Ooh, okay then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Assassin's Creed's and I believe not one of them is a duplicate so holy shit dude 3.47% on a Brass Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. 476 on Assassin's Creed 3, because it's the PS3 version. Obviously got Assassin's Creed 2 in there as well. That's 22.78. Black Flag, 5.37%. Liberation, Odyssey, Origins, Revelations, 7.72%. And then Rogue Syndicate Unity and Valhalla. Valhalla is 16.13%. That is shocking. I actually looked through my own account um, a couple of days ago. And I thought I'd put a lot more time that, that I had than I clearly had on Valhalla. I've only got one trophy in it by the time I gave up on it. I, I could have swore I put hours. Anyway, uh, we've then got Astro's Playroom. Beautiful. Everybody should have it. Uh, attack on toy tanks, not a clue. Avoid them, break through gaming arcade. Uh, again, not a clue, but you know, arcade games. Uh, Back to the Future, I believe that's a telltale, so very nice. Then we got uh, baseball, baseball again. 
and they're both great through gaming arcade games as well. Obviously, baseball is baseball. Uh, then we got Batman The Enemy Within and Batman The Telltale Series. Uh, I believe they're both Telltales, if I am correct, uh, but very nice on both of those. Uh, we got Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Hardline, and probably one of the best Battlefields there is, Battlefield Bad Company 2. 6.47%, uh, 5.99%, 4.62%, and 6.24%. And with Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 1, you even did the DLCs. So, chef's kiss. Oh, yes, here we go. Here's one I've never seen before on any of the lists I've done. Bayonetta for the PS3. Very nice. 8.77% on that. Well played, sir. Uh, Bioshock Infinite then. 6.15% PS3 version as well. Uh, Bird Game Plus. Uh, Bish... 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 Put my teeth back in, mate. Bishujo Battle Cyber Panic. Not a clue. Blastful, again, not a clue. The very well-respected and the one that I wish I had the skill and ability to do, and I am aiming to do this at some point in the near future. Bloodborne, next. 21.89% 20 on that. Very, very nice. Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Absolutely fantastic game. I think I've got about four or five trophies left on that. I haven't touched it for years, but um, absolutely fantastic game. Uh, quite a high percentage now, though, which is quite disappointing, but 29.63% on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we've then got Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3. Borderlands 2 being the PS3 edition, unless, well, unless you played it on Vita. Um, I hope not because I know the Vita edition played incredibly poorly. Um, but you got the 5.82% on that one. Borderlands 3, not quite as impressive, but still 14.12%. Uh, Bouncy Bullets, no idea. Uh, I mean, it took you half an hour, so doesn't look, sound like a game worth mentioning. Bound by Flame, very nice. 4.4% on that one. Beautiful stuff. Got another breakthrough game in arcade. Uh, Bricks, Bricks 2, the, those are both quite high. Rotato, which I mentioned earlier, along with uh, Army of Ruin, like a, an idol. I, I don't know what you even call them. I, I know it's an idol something, but very nice. It's the first platinum trophy um, of the idol games I ever got. Ooh, it's hurting a little. Um, Bucket Knight, Bullet Beat, no idea. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, very nice, 3.83% on that one. Call of Duty Black Ops, 3.65% on that one. Uh, that one's the PS3 edition. Uh, and then we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, uh, both PS3 uh, versions as well, 7.31% on that and 3.89%. We then have Cario, uh, three minutes, so yeah, moving on. Carry on. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it mentioned numerous times. I believe I know what it is, but it's 45.99% on that, so fair play. Um, Castle of No Escape, 14 minutes. No Escape 2, 13 minutes. Castle Pals. So quite, quite a lot of... Um, I'm not going to call these shovelware, but they kind of give me shovelware vibes. But to be as high on the leaderboard as you are, you, you've got to include some, I guess. Um, Catan. Um, I've, I've, I've heard of this, but like my mind's just run a blank. But fair play, regardless. 17.61% on that. Is is that the one that's similar to like Civilization? I'll have to check it out later. Uh, then we got another breakthrough game in arcade game, uh, catching catch the bowling balls. Looks from the picture, it looks like uh, yeah. Uh, Celeste next, twenty three point nine four percent on that. Chickens on the road, which always makes me laugh. Ever since I saw it a few videos back. Uh, Chorus sixteen point one three percent. Clash Force Conan Exiles, very nice, nineteen point two nine percent. 
50 hour platinum and you did it in one day and 17 hours skill fair play fair effing play control badass game i'll always say it uh cosmos bit yeah uh cotton fantasy uh took you four months and one week i'm guessing must have been something that you started and then just went back to to finish it off because it's a platinum that i have and i think it took me uh seven or eight hours because the game is it's like it's not shovelware but the game is absolutely horrendous and i have actually got a video coming out in the future uh not a trophy list review uh, like a different style of video uh based around uh cotton fantasy so you know check that one out when it comes to it uh crisis wing next quite a high percentage um but you know it respected uh cross crossbow crusade again another quite a high percentage then we got Crisis, 25.12%. Nice. One that I want to go for myself. Obviously, the first person shooter broke everybody's PC when it first released. I believe the PS5. Uh, actually, you did that on the PS3, so fair play on that one. Um, Court of the Land next, 20.57 and the DLC, 3.75. Very, very nice. I'm going to have to take a drink. My throat is killing me. <clears throat> Thank you for giving me uh, that moment of respite. Uh, okay, so Siberian, the time traveler, time traveling warrior. Nice Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Uh, nice. Okay, I, I, that looks legit. So fair effing play. You you, I feel your pain. You did it on PS four nine point seven eight percent trying it on ps4 when it first released was the biggest mistake i ever made it put me off the game forever i would love to get back into it but i just I, like every time i think about it i just think back to that moment when my car just randomly bumped up in the middle of the road and exploded and i was like what, what the hell um <clears throat> uh daggerwood daggerhood sorry quite a high Dante's Inferno for the PS3, very, very nice, 18.66%. Days Gone, brilliant game, absolutely brilliant game, 25.11%. Uh, then we've got Dead Nation twice on the PS3 and on the PS4. Um, as far as I can tell, not auto-popped, done legit. 5.35% and then on PS4 2.63%. I actually wanted to download re-download this the other day and play it with one of my mates. Um and I can't remember why I didn't. Um but fair effing play on those. Uh Dead or Alive Extreme Free Fortune. Dead I've never really been into beat em ups, but Dead or Alive is like the my least let's just call it least favourite. Um but it looks good. Fan service and all that. Then we got Dead Space, the OG on the PS3, 15.23%. And then we've got, I have, like, I'm not going to lie to any of you. I have absolutely no idea what this game is. So I am going to, you know, middle click it and uh, we'll just move that across. Um, because I do want to know what it is. Because this is your rarest platinum, I believe. I definitely saw it in your trophy cabinet at the top. Um, but 0.19%, 150 hours, a 6 out of 10. And that is Dead Star. I have absolutely no idea what that game is, but I am going to be checking it out. Uh, moving on, we go on to Deathloop. 13.5% and 6.45 for the DLC. Very nice. A game that I just couldn't get into. Uh, Deep Ones, Deep Space Rush. Uh, delicious pretty girls majong solitaire nice uh, delta squad devious dungeon devious dungeon 2 uh, i mean they're all quite high percentages but like i said i, I don't want to just assume that these are shovelware I, i'm like some of them clearly are some of them might, might just be very popular i guess um 
or, or niche. niche. Niche games tend to have high, uh, high percentages. But then we go into Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, beautiful stuff, 13.08%. And then Divinity, Original Sin. This one, fair, fair play on this. Like, straight up, got to give you props for this one. I, I know what this in includes. I know how much work goes into this one. 2.3%, 9 out of 10 difficulty, 100 hours. Fair play. And you did it in three weeks and eight hours. You must have loved it and, and been skilled. Uh, Donut County next. Yep, yeah, like I'm pretty sure almost everybody has this uh, platinum at this point. Obviously, clearly not everybody because it's a 75.14%. But everyone I know has it. Uh, <clears throat> Donuts and Justice, meh. Uh, Doom, very nice, 9.8%. Uh, Dragon's Crown. 6.47%. Nice. Uh, Driverio. No idea. Uh, then Drowning. Again, no idea. Duck Souls Plus. I mean, like th these are all very high percentages, but I, I don't want to just assume that they are shovelware. Then we've got Dust and Elysian, uh, Elysian Tail. 8.81%. Dying Light, 6.29%. Very, very nice. Ender Lilies. Oh, man, that's quite high. 35.31% on Ender Lilies. That was um, one of the PS Plus games as well, wasn't it? A couple of months ago, I believe. Uh, then we got... Yeah, that's very high percentage on Energy Cycle. Same with Energy Invasion. Then we got Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. 10.83% back on the PS3. Uh, we've then got uh, Word Search Collection, quite a high percentage. Fallout 4, 10.74% on that one, very nice. Uh, Far Cry, I don't know what, Far, Far Cry 4, Far Cry 5, 6, Primal and New Dawn. Very, 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 very nice. Um, None of them are really low, low percentages, but just a quick share to number five for being 13.25%. We've then got Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. Uh, 20, I have no idea what that game is either. 21.02%. Um, <clears throat> then we've got, here we go, Final Fantasy VII, the OG. So, peace. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. 12.95% on that one. That was PS4, I'm guessing. Guessing that was like roughly when it first came out. And then you've done the um, remake again for the PS5. And that one's 20.28%. So very, very nice. Uh, then Fiveys. Fiveys. Flatland Prologue. Football game. And another breakthrough gaming arcade with football. Uh, they're all pretty high. Then we got former 0.8, which is 11.31%. Foxyland, Foxyland 2, Full Blast, all high percentages as well. Uh, Game of Thrones, the Telltale game, nice. Uh, Geometry, Geometry, Survivor, quite high. Get to the top, another game in arcade game. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, very nice, 37%. Ghostwire Tokyo, which has just... The people that have got this platinum has skyrocketed in recent times. There was once a mo moment in time when I was, I, I think this it was about 14%, I think, at the lowest I ever seen it. And I was one of them and I was like, yeah, let's go. And now, it, now almost one in four people have got it. Uh, Grey Lancer, fair play. Uh, God of War. God of War again. So God of War on the PS3. 18.59%, very nice. God of War PS4, 27% on that. God of War 2, God of War 3, God of War Ragnarok, Ascension, Chains of Olympus, and Ghosts, uh, Ghost of Sparta. Very, very, very nice for all of those. God of Wars are just like badass game, to put it simply. Uh, then we got Golf Zero, Gravity Duck, they're pretty high percentages. Grim, Grimoire, Munch. <coughs> Excuse me, that, that just 
Grim Grimoire once more uh, for the PS5, 46.09%. Uh, then we got Gun Crazy, Guns, Gore, and Cannoli 2. Uh, Joynug, uh, Habro Habroxia, Habroxia 2. All pretty high percentages as well. Uh, Hades, phenomenal game. F mate, oh, what the hell? 24.59% on it now. Almost one in four people. Mate, I'm slacking. My, my account needs some serious work. Um, Headlander, no idea what it is, but 31.3% on that. Heavy Rain from the PS3. Pretty sure the, one of the most recent accounts I looked at had that as well. And it was the first time, so very nice. 12.07% on that. The OG Helldivers. I don't know what account, uh, what console you did it on, but fair play because it's a 1.86%. And it looks like you was going for the DLCs as well because you're only one trophy off it. But fair play. Helldivers 2 as well, 1526 then we've got to give it up for the greatest game ever made, Hentai vs. Evil. Um, Heroes Trials, he uh, Hymno, Hoggy 2, all in the 90s. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West and Z Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn got the platinum myself, absolutely fantastic game. Forbidden West got bored very quick. I Am Satsuna, beautiful game. Loved this myself. Never got the platinum, but I'm glad to see it on somebody else's list. Absolutely beautiful game. Uh, Oi AI. No idea. Another breakthrough game in uh, arcade with Oisaki Immortals of Avium, 11.58%. Very, very nice. <clears throat> uh, invert in the 90s. Uh, infamous, Infamous 2, Infamous First Light, Infamous Second Sun. Beautiful stuff. 10.28% uh, being the rarest one on the OG Infamous. Inferno 2, Ink Explosion, Iro Hero, Iron Scout, Jack and Jill DX, all in the 90s. Well, Ink Explosion and Inferno 2 are in the 80s, but all high percentages. Um, all taking less than eight hours. Uh, Jack three, Jack two. So you've done. So you haven't done Jack and Daxter, uh, or whatever it is the Procrecia orb. Um, but nice on those. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle, very nice. Um, just a phrase by Pogi. Ninety five percent on that one. Uh, just cause free 2.8% and the DLC 1.01% you love to see it. somebody else who has the killing floor 2 platinum yeah 7.65% on that fair play I mean I don't think it's that hard of a platinum it's like two trophies that are actually really difficult but somewhat difficult but fair play uh, Kill Zone Three. Oh God, that's that's a blast from the past. I haven't heard that game in yonks, but six point five six percent on that. And then you even did Kill Zone Shadow Fall, one point five eight percent. Lovely stuff. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, six point seven seven. Lady in a leotard with a gun, because why not? Uh, Lara Croft Go as well. Legend of the Skyfish. Legends of Talia. Almost everybody has it. Same with Lent's Adventure. 99.35% on that one. I mean, like, I know that these these last two are very short. And, I mean, that that screams shovelware. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to judge. Uh, but, why? Like, if you've, if you've brought the game, just 32 seconds, just finish it. Same with this one. I know this one took a, a little bit longer, but just finish the game. Uh, we've then got Life is Strange, 32.18%. Little Adventure on the Prairie, which is a very high one. We've then got Lollipop Chainsaw, the original, 
13.46%. Very, very nice. I've not recently finished the repop. Uh, seen a lot of people complaining about it. I actually didn't have too many issues. Uh, I had a couple, don't get me wrong, but you know, I thought it was quite a, a smooth platinum journey for myself. Uh, Loot Hero DX quite high, Lost Ring quite high. Mad Max, obviously now unobtainable, but 5.96 on that one, so very, very nice. We've got Mafia 2 on the PS3, 11.08%. Uh, we've then got some, uh, you know, some respected but quite high percentage ones with Manita, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Spider Man, and Spider Man 2. Fair play on those four. Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay. Um, I mean, Andromeda was the the weaker of the four games, I believe, in the Mass Effect uh, franchise. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to see 1, 2, and 3 at a later point, but I guess we'll see. 5.28% on that one. Uh, you're going to have to give me a second. Okay, so we, then we've got Mech Warriors 5 Mercenaries. 6.29% uh, on that. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Mecha Bolt, Memory Lane, Metagal, uh, all in the 90%. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Fair play on this one. 4.84%. That is a. That, I mean, fair play. I'm tripping over my own words because there is some absolutely fucking phenomenal platinums in this list. Uh, Metal Hellsinger next, nice. Uh, Metro 2033, Metro Last Light Redux as well, 12.58, uh, 15.23. Metropolit Metropolis Lux Obscura, quite a high percentage. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, nice, 15.51%. Uh, Midnight Deluxe, Mighty Aphid, Milo's Quest, Machi Machi Boy, Mr. Masaji, My Big Sister, all very, very high percentages. Um, speaking of high percentages, we've then got My Name is Mayo, My Name is, oh, My Name is Mayo twice, My Name is Mayo 2, and My Name is Mayo 3. So, four very simple and easy Platinums. Uh, at least the third one took you four hours. You know, at least, at least it's not so uh, so simple. Uh, Naruto boy, no idea. We then got Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm two and three, both on the PS3 as well. So nice stuff. Ten point one nine percent on the first one, seventeen point five seven percent on the second. We then got Necromunda Hired Gun. Uh, it's from the Games Workshop, if I'm if I am correct, the Warhammer game. Um, I actually own this game. I think I'm about fifteen trophies in, and I I, I kind of got bored of it. But fair play for sticking it out. Eleven point eight three percent on that one. Uh, ne Neon Junction's quite high, but then we got Nia on the PS3. Seven point seven two percent. Fair play on that one. Uh, we've then got near Automata as well, 28.89%. Uh, beautiful stuff. Uh, Null Drifter in the 90s. Ocean Horn, Monster of Uncharted Seas, 35.58%. Oh, I've been waiting to see this on somebody's list. Odin Sphere, I'm not even going to pronounce like that last little bit, but Odin Sphere, 21.26%. Uh, so it's a lot higher than I was expecting, but. It's a simple, but a banger of a game. Um, <coughs> one Hell of a Ride in the 90s, One Night Stand 80s, Paradox Soul 90s, Peasant Knight 90s, Peggle 2, 12.8%, and the DLC. Uh, Pinball, Breakthrough Game in Arcade, Pity Pit. Uh, Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate, 4.86%, lovely stuff. Uh, Planet RX-13, nice. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, oh my god. Uh, I think this might be the first time I've ever seen this one. I guess this is um, the, the added... 
like because the account's so old like you know because it looks like you've been trophy hunting since a long time ago uh you know i'm seeing a lot of old games that i i haven't seen on anybody's lists before so it, it it's nice to see but yeah the original i'm guessing it's the original plants vs zombies on the vita 16.66 percent then we got some of the games that i always scroll past uh when i'm on the store and think should i because you know just because poker pretty girls battle poker pretty girls battle uh, fantasy world edition texas hold'em pretty girl breakers pretty girls escape pretty girls klondike solitaire pretty girls mahjong solitaire pretty girl uh, green edition green edition pretty girls mahjong solitaire red edition pretty girls panic pretty girls panic plus <coughs> pretty girls rivers pretty girls speed every single one of those in the 90s uh then we got Project Starship, Racing, Breakthrough Gaming Arcade, Radio Squid, Random Hi Blech. Random Heroes, Gold Edition, all 80 and above percentage. Uh, the OG Ratchet and Clank. I don't know if it what is the actual OG, but one of the earlier ones. Uh, 19.55% percent on that one. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I, I mean i know it's a it's a relatively easy platinum but over one in every two people get this i mean it's a fantastic game don't get me wrong but i'm just so surprised that it is so high uh then we got rebel galaxy at 3.19 percent very nice and then red dead redemption at three percent well i know you've got some rarer ones like i've already seen some of the rarer ones but red red Redemption, Red Dead Redemption, fair play. Uh, Red Death, Red Raptor, Read 2, uh, all very high percentage wise. Remedium Sentinels, 53.75%. Um, I don't know what that is, but the fact that there's actually trophies on the uh, on the artwork suggests that that could have been a game purely just to get easy trophies, maybe. Um, Remnant from the Ashes, very nice. I, I actually really enjoyed that game, but I just, I, it was back when I wasn't trophy hunting. Um, and I kind of want to do the second one, but I kind of want to go through it with somebody else. Um, so something to keep in mind for the future, I guess. Uh, Replicator, 47% on that. 11 gold trophies, never... Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Resident Evil 5, very nice, 13.67% on that one. Resogun, the first ever game I played on my PS4. Never got the Platinum, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. 9.93% on that. Returnal, one of the first games I ever played on my PS5. 12.76% um, on that one. It's the, the RNG trophies just put me off going for that Platinum. Uh, we then got Rick Henderson... I mean, I have no idea what that is. It looks like spaceships. Um, uh, road Bustle. Uh, rock, Paper, Scissors in the 90s. Uh, Rocket League. Fair play. I mean, you got the Platinum on it. 17.59%. And you're only on 43%. Hideous. Uh, then we got Rocky, Rocketio, Rocketio. Round Invaders. Rush Rover. All in the 90s. Saints Row 4 re-elected, Saints Row Got Out of Hell, and Saints Row the 3rd, very, very nice, Got Out of Hell being 8.85%, uh, and the other two 10.58% and 12.98%, very well respected, I'm surprised that Saints Row the 3rd for the PS3 isn't lower, um, but regardless, beautiful stuff, uh, Sakura Succubus, yeah it, it is it is exactly what you uh it does exactly what it says on the tin uh sultan sanctuary very nice 17.31 percent santa claus breaking game in arcade 97.76 percent yep um oh okay now this is one i have never seen before but i have seen that for a physical copy of this 
I believe one sold for £500 a couple of weeks ago. Saturday morning RPG. From what I've heard, the game isn't even that good. It's just very, very rare. But you got the platinum on that one. 4.32%. Very nice. Then we got uh, Senran Kagura, Burst Renewal, Estival Versus, and the greatest game ever made, Peach Beach Splash. That one being the uh, the pick of the bunch with 22.22%. Can people stop platinum in that? That's one of, that's that was one of my claim to fames. Um, then we got Severed 33.49, Skyscrapers quite high percentage, Sleeping Dogs 13.42% because of the PS3 edition. Uh, obviously myself, I've got the PS4 version, and it's much higher than that. Uh, you even did the DLCs as well, 2.23%. Very nice. And then got another uh, breakthrough gaming arcade, crap, uh, Sonic. And then got Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Very nice, PS3, 17.83%. We then have Sounds and Shapes, three different times, PS3, Vita, and PS4. Uh, Space 2, Gaming Arcade, Space, Gaming Arcade with space intervention in the middle of those, uh, Spectre Woods, all of those in the 90s. Ooh, then another one that I've never seen before on anybody's list, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. 5.78% on that. And then literally like the next one underneath it, Star Wars Battlefront, 1.82%. Fair play on that. Like... I remember playing that game when it first released and like I wasn't platinum hunting at the time but I remember looking at the trophies and thinking Christ like I'm never gonna get that we then got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 20.97 Stellar Blade which I'm shocked at how many people actually have this platinum but fair play on that one uh, Stellatum no idea Stormboy in the high 90s Strider <clears throat> Stroider PS4 edition 5.48% I believe the PS3 version of this is considerably um, lower I could be chatting complete poop but pretty sure that I remember seeing that uh, Subdivision Infinity DX 19.84% I'm not going to lie I have no idea what that game is uh, Super Box Land Deluxe Super Distro Destro Destro Nort DX uh, Destro Nort X2 Destro Nort Land Wars Super Stardust Portable Super Weekend Mode Sil <laughs> Super Willow D Make I'm not gonna lie when I was reading through I almost said dildo um, but all of those in the high 90s uh, that one obviously being 54% we got Siphon Filter 3. Uh, Siphon Filter 3 can be done in 12 minutes. What? I, I, I'm going to have to remember that because, you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to open it because I need to uh, to see like what, what the hell. Um, then we got Tacoma, Tales from the Borderlands, the original Borderlands Telltale game. Uh, Tales of Arise absolutely fantastic game 33.86 percent on that uh tamiku tanks vs tanks pvp task fort campus all in the 90s tekken 6 on the ps3 11.11 11 tekken 7 and tekken 8 uh very very nice terminator salvation tetra's escape that one's a high percentage the ascent beautiful stuff 17.01 uh, the Banner Saga, and again, another one that you don't see very often, but that's 4.18%, so very nice on that one. Whew. The Bounty Huntress, the Bronze Age, the Copper Age, all in, well, all over 60. The Deadly Terror of Monsters, beautiful stuff, 22.83%. Elder Scrolls Skyrim, 9.92%. For the ps3 version uh, then we carry on with the ages we've got the golden age the night witch finally someone else that has got this one 
um, but please stop because that was much lower when I got it uh, but fair play on that one beautiful like indie bullet hell game and yeah I, th I thought it was fantastic then got last of us oh my god is that the original for the ps3 so that's with the faction multiplayer uh, trophies as well i believe 3.79 on that fair play and then we got last of us part two as well uh the order 1886 nice then we've got uh pig quiz pigeon quiz silver age and spidey quiz all um a few minutes of clicking the correct answers i'm guessing and getting a platinum trophy the walking dead twice uh not auto pops uh the walking dead a new frontier as well the witcher 3 wild hunt 10.61 percent and then for the on the ps5 and on the ps4 again not auto pops a fair play on this 7.11 percent and the dlc 2.80 percent the Wolf Among Us, my latest, uh, one of my latest purchases. I need to get around to doing this one, but fair play. Thunderpore, Tokyo Run, both in the 90s. Tomb Raider on the PS3, very, very nice, 4.74%. Uh, another breakthrough game in arcade, Trans Transistor, nice, 9.91% on that one. Again, another one that I don't see very often. Uh, Troyan and Troyan 2. Then we've got Trivial Pursuit. Uh, Tump Jump, which I'm guessing is just shovelware. We've got the 3OG uh, Uncharted's. 16% uh, for the original. 14.51% for Among Thieves. And 9.25% for Drake's Deception. Unicorn Overload. Fair play on this one. I think this is the first list I've seen with this as well. So very, very nice. Uh, another breakthrough game in. Until Dawn, beautiful stuff. The original. Uh, Vampire Survivors. Oh my God. Like I've got a screenshot of when I earned this Platinum Trophy and it was like 1.4%. And now it's on 39.4%. Just everybody stop Platinum in games. Or at least the ones I've platinumed. Uh, then we got, oh, mate. Vanquish, 2.27% on the PS3 as well. Like, I know the work that goes into this one. And, like, absolute banger. I'd, pro I'd probably go, with, like, even though you've got some that are lower than that, I I I'd probably go in, like, the games that I know, like, that I know... I'd say that's probably the best one you've got so far. Of the games I know, obviously I've got, I've still got to check out that dark, uh, Dead Star. That one could be on a whole nother level. Uh, then we got Virginia Void Gore in the nineties volume. No idea what that one is. Uh, Space Marine Two. So okay, so that one was uh, not too long ago. Uh, Ten point two eight percent on that. And then, oh, nice. Okay. Then you got Vermintoid and Vermintoid Two. 1.34% and 0.86%. Fair effing play. Like, I, I, I love the Vermintoid. And, and Vermintoid too. I would not go for these Platinum Trophies. Not not without, like, you know, like you know, a team, basically. But fair play. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2, Wolfenstein The New Order. Wolfenstein the Old Blood, uh, all beautiful and low-ish. And then we end it with uh, Zero T Zeroptian Invasion, which is really high. And then one I love to see, because again, I never see it on anybody's list. But Zone of the Enders, what a fantastic franchise. Like, beautiful. Okay, I know that the video is already pretty long, but, you know, uh, go, uh, what's what's the saying? Continue as you, as you mean to go on. So, the 100% as well. Why not? So, you've got The Walking Dead Season 2. Nice. The Last Laid 2, I have no idea. Valiant Hearts, The Great War, 10.7% on that one. So, nice stuff. 
uh, guns, gore, and cannoli. Did pretty sure I'd already mentioned that one. I know it was number two, wasn't it? Number two's got the platinum. Number one hasn't. Uh, journey. I'm really surprised that that one hasn't got the platinum, to be honest. Fair enough. Uh, contrast. Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Altered Beast. Oh, mate. Uh, Virtual Fighter 5 sh Final Showdown. Battlefield 1943. Acceleration of Suguri X Edition. Nice. Uh, Child of Light, which is just a fantastic game. That hasn't got a platinum. Or is it? I thought that... I need, I need to check that one out as well. Uh, X-Men for the PS3. Very nice. 14.43%. Far Cry 3. Breakthrough game. Poker Night at the Inventory 2. No idea, but that one's at 8.23%. Then got three more uh, arcade games. The Horror Game Inside and Actual Sunlight. Which some people would argue you need to go and get because of this list. I would argue, mate, fantastic list. Get more. Okay, so, <clears throat> milestones. Uh, first platinum was Heavy Rain. Very nice. 10th platinum was Call of Duty Black Ops. 20th platinum was Tekken 6. Uh, 30th platinum was Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. 40th platinum was Zone the Enders. May. May. Uh, 50th platinum was Saints Row the Third. 75th platinum was The Walking Dead. 100th platinum was Salt and Sanctuary. 125 platinum was Near Automata. 150th platinum was Headlander. I don't recall saying that one, but I'm guessing it might have been a, a very high percentage. Uh, 175 was Days Gone. 200th was Tekken 7, 225 was Tacoma, 250th was 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, 300th was Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, 350th was One Hell of a Roid, and your latest platinum is Cult of the Lamb. Oh my god, dude. My throat is going to need some serious TLC after that one. But you know what? Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I I would be very surprised if I see another list so high on the leaderboards. Yes, there were some people would argue there was a shed ton of t uh, shovelware and easy platinums, but I would then also say look at the trophy cabinet, like you know, Vermintoid 2, the original Vermintoid, Kill Zone, Shadow Shadowfall. You know, like some of them trophies are just like ridiculous. I'm actually covering what I'm talking about. Like, you know, the trophy cabinet here. Some of them are just like, pla like vanquish. Like, my god, dude. So, yeah, so like anyone ever say shit about the, your shovelware or, or your easy platinums, just show them your trophy cabinet straight up. No, no one can say anything. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much for submitting your um, your trophy list, your account. Um, don't forget to everybody else, if you want your list reviewed in the future, um, leave your PSN account name down in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one, where I believe it is Gravity Rush Raven. If I am incorrect, I will put the name just there. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for the continued patience and peace out.